Genius 3 have released version 2.1 Alpha 2. Major new features of version 2.1 includes packet filters, node duplication, and appliance templates, which can be installed from within the application. This link takes you to the GNS3 documentation and shows you what's new in GNS3. You can find that by going to documentation on the GNS3 website, clicking release notes, and clicking version 2.1. We told that version 2.1 is a new feature release of GNS3. This version continues the work that was started in version 2.0 to improve the user experience when using a central GNS3 server and for controlling GNS3 via the API. In this example, I'm using GNS3 2.1.0 alpha 2 on a Mac. I've also upgraded the GNS3 VM to the same version. Before you decide to upgrade, note that no rollback is possible. You should back up all your projects and settings and you need to snapshot the GNS3 VM. Version 2.1 is an alpha stage, which means many things could be broken or not work as expected. Now here's an important warning. This is an alpha release of GNS3. Don't upgrade if you've got something important to do. Rather wait for the final release. Here are some FAQs. When can I expect the final release of version 2.1? It's expected in August 2017. Will a new version of 1.5 be released? The current release of 1.5 is stable and GNS3 don't plan to release a new version of 1.5. Will a new version 2.0.x be released? A minor release of version 2.0.x may be released to fix bugs during the version 2.1 alpha beta cycle. Will my projects created in version 1.5 be compatible with 2.1? Yes, except for unexpected bugs. I have a certification exam next week or something else that's important. Should I upgrade? The answer is no. Don't upgrade if you're in the middle of something important. One big question that comes up is what about the web graphical user interface? This is not part of version 2.1, but a new GNS3 team member will work on this full time after version 2.1 is released. So expect a lot of work happening in the future on a web-based graphical user interface. Can we expect new features before the final release? Genius 3 plan to provide a proper command history for the Ethernet switch console, as well as support mode duplication for all node types, excepting VMware and VirtualBox. So some additional features may be added before the final release of version 2.1. One of the new features in Genius 3 2.1 is packet filters for links. You can now apply packet filters on links without stopping any node. You can specify a frequency drop, which drops a packet every X packets. You can randomly drop a packet. You can add delay and jitter. You can randomly corrupt a packet. And you can use the Berkeley packet filter to filter packets. More information about the syntax is available using the provided link. So have a look at that if you're interested. But let's do a demonstration. In this example, I'll drag a 3725 router to the workspace, as well as drag another one. And I'll connect them using a serial interface. So what I'll do is start up the topology and open up a console to each device. Here's router one, here's router two. So on router one, interface serial two slash zero, no shut. Give it an IP address of 10.1.1.1 slash 24. On router 2, interface serial 2 slash 0, no shut it. Configure an IP address of 10.1.1.2 slash 24 mask. Router 2 should be able to ping router 1, which it can. And router 1 should be able to ping router 2. So very basic network. I'll resize 
the Genius 3 GUI so that we can see the consoles. And again, router one is able to ping router two. What I'll do is start a continuous ping to router two with 100,000 pings. Pings are succeeding. I'll right click on the link, go to packet filters, and I'll drop every 10th packet. What you'll notice now is packets are being dropped between router one and router two. I'll reset to that, ping succeed. Let's drop one out of every 25 packets. Notice packet is getting dropped here, dropped here, dropped here, but it's not as frequent as it was previously. Reset to that again. Pings are succeeding. One out of every 100 packets now. Notice far fewer packets are being dropped. You can reset to the link again. And let's implement a packet loss of 50%. So one out of every two packets is gonna be dropped. So that's a very high drop rate. It's causing a lot of problems on the link. Reset that again. Go to packet loss. Let's drop 10% of packets. So packet loss is 10%. Reset that again. Pings are succeeding. Let's add some delay. I'll add a 500 millisecond delay. What you'll notice is the pings are a lot slower than they were previously. Reset to that again. Pings are quick. Add a delay of 500 milliseconds. Pings are a lot slower. Reset to that. Let's add a delay of 250 milliseconds and a jitter of 100 milliseconds. We've now got both latency and jitter on the link and notice it's affecting the performance. Reset that, pings are succeeding again. What's the chance of corrupt packets? Let's set that to 25%. Notice we're getting drops because the packets are corrupt. I'll reset that again, pings are succeeding. So some really nice options available in GNS3 to manipulate the links between devices. That was an example of a serial interface. We could do something similar. On a fast ethernet interface. So I'll stop the ping. Go on to fast ethernet 00, zero give it an IP address of 10121. Router 2, interface F0 slash 0, no shut, IP address 10122. So router 2 should now be able to ping router 1, which it can. So ping 10122, repeat 100,000 times. Pings are succeeding. I'll start a packet filter. Packet loss of say 50%. Notice packets are being dropped. Reset to that. Packet loss of say 10%. Notice packets are being dropped. So this is a very nice feature in GNS3 2.1. You can mimic problems in physical networks you can also combine filters. So you could add a packet loss and a delay on the filter at the same time. So again, what we could do is do a packet filter, adding 25% loss and a 500 millisecond delay. So both packet loss and delay are configured. Let's lower that packet loss to say 10% and a 500 millisecond delay. So 10% packet loss, 500 millisecond delay. Pings are very slow because of the high delay and we've got packet loss on the link. So this is again a great feature available in GNS3 version 2.1.
We can also suspend a link. This basically drops all packets on the link. So I'll clear the filters here. I'll right click on the link and click suspend. Notice the link is now suspended. Packets are being dropped. Right click resume. Packets are being forwarded. Click suspend. Packets are being dropped. And when I click resume, packets can be forwarded once again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.